If special events are a core fundraising strategy for your organization, you will want to track special event data in your Blackbody Tapestry database. Managing event data in eTapestry is a little tricky because eTapestry doesn't have a standard out-of-the-box event management system. Your organization will need to build a custom system to track special event data in eTapestry that uses journal contacts, transactions, user-defined fields, DIY web forms, and potentially imports and mass updates. You may even consider an automated integration with an external event management software. Every organization is different, so the design and setup of eTapestry event management will vary. It is impossible to provide a perfect event management blueprint for every organization. The goal of this video is to provide you with the principles of eTapestry event management so you can apply them to your specific situation and build your system to track special event data in a way that works for your organization. There are two event data elements in eTapestry. You may use both elements depending on the type of event you are hosting. Actions are non-financial steps in the event workflow. This includes invitations, RSVP statuses, and attendance records. If you need reports on non-financial steps in an event workflow like a list of attendees, you will track those steps using an action record. Actions are tracked on the journal contact using a combination of system-defined fields and user-defined fields. Transactions are an exchange within the event workflow. Transactions include tickets, sponsorships, and event purchases and in-kind contributions. Transactions are tracked as gifts, pledges, pledge payments, and potentially soft credits and recurring gifts. They are tracked with the campaign and approach fields as well as user-defined fields. The topics covered in this video are conceptual, outlining the principles of eTapestry event management. You will need to customize these concepts to meet your organization's specific event tracking needs. There are two components that drive the design and setup of event data tracking in eTapestry. The first is queries and reports, meaning the data you want to get out of eTapestry. And the second is the event workflow, which represents the data entry procedures in eTapestry that correlate to event actions and transactions. With these two components in mind, events occur in two primary phases, pre-event and in-event. Pre-event includes all workflow steps that happen before the day of the event. In-event includes all workflow steps that happen the day of the event and after the event is over as some transactions and actions occur shortly after the day of the event. Pre-event actions happen before the day of the event. Actions include invitations and responses from invitations such as RSVPs. Actions may also include registrations for events that don't sell tickets. Pre-event actions are tracked on the journal contact. Set up system-defined field values for the contact method to track the status of the pre-event action. Examples include event invited and event accepted. You can also separate event accepted into RSVP yes and RSVP no. Then add a single select user-defined field as a dropdown called event name. Adding this to the journal contact will allow you to add the name of your event as a value in that field and select it when creating the contact. Enter all pre-event actions by selecting the appropriate contact method and the event name value. Use eTapestry queries to find relevant journal contacts and create a report to display the data. Pre-event transactions happen before the day of the event as well. Transactions include ticket purchases, sponsorships, and general event donations. Pre-event transactions are tracked on a transaction record, most commonly as a gift pledge record. The type of transaction will be categorized by a campaign and approach value. The campaign generally identifies the event itself and the approach identifies the categorization of the transaction as a ticket, sponsorship, or general event donation. We recommend identifying the approach value beginning with the event name. So for example, your approach may be 2019 gala tickets or 2019 gala sponsorship. This coding classification will allow you to use home screen dashboards to measure performance for each approach. Additional user-defined fields may be added to journal transactions to track ticket quantity, guest names, sponsorship level, or other important information about the transaction. How you process transactions and collect registrations for your event will vary. 
You may use DIY forms in the eTapestry event ticketing functionality, the eCart, manual data entry with segmented transactions, or a custom event registration form using eTapestry's API. You may also use a separate event management system that processes pre-event transactions and requires an import step to transfer those transactions to your eTapestry database. In-event transactions happen the day of the event, with some post-event volume common as well. Transactions include in-event purchases and in-event donations such as silent auctions, pledge auctions, drink purchases, and general contributions. These transactions are tracked the same way as pre-event transactions but are coded and classified with different approach values. The campaign will most likely remain the same for these transactions. Flag in-event transactions with unique approach values so you can report on in-event and pre-event performance separately. In-event actions happen the day of the event. The most common in-event action is attendance. You will want to track those individuals that attended your event so you can report on them and connect with them following your event. Add event attended is a system defined field value for the contact method. Add a journal contact to the account of the person that attended the event and select the event name user defined field you use for the pre-event action records. A simple query for all journal contacts that are flagged with the event name and the event attended contact method will produce your attendee list. Event workflows aren't always simple and straightforward. You may be using external email marketing, web forms, or event management software. You may also send invitations through a mailing house. The eTapestry database is set up for single record data entry, meaning you enter a single event record for an account, save the record, and move on to enter another record for a different account. When dealing with events, it isn't practical to enter a single journal contact or a single transaction record for every invitee, attendee, and ticket purchaser. Entering data manually will be too time consuming and the workflow becomes increasingly complex. Luckily, there are ways to streamline the eTapestry data entry workflow to save you time, energy, and effort. Use eTapestry mass updates or imports to get pre-event and in-event actions into the database in batches. If you generate your invites in eTapestry, use the Create a Journal Contact feature when you create new documents or a mass email. Flag the journal contact with the appropriate pre-event action fields. This process will create pre-event actions in the form of journal contacts for your entire invite list. If you generate your invites externally from eTapestry by exporting to Excel and you don't change any of the data in the Excel file, Use the mass update feature for that query to add journal contacts and batch to all invited accounts. This process will also create pre-event actions in the form of journal contacts for your entire invite list based on the invite query. If you generate your invites externally from eTapestry by exporting to Excel and you do change the data in the Excel file, make sure to add the eTapestry account number to your Excel export and then re-import the data using the account number and single contact import template. This process will create pre-event journal contact records for every account in your import file. If you are tracking RSVPs, we recommend tracking them in Excel and then importing the data in batch every day, week, or by another set schedule. Use the invite list to match the eTapestry account number to the RSVP so you can import using the account number and single contact import template. If you are tracking attendance, export the RSVP or registration list from eTapestry to Excel with the account number for each potential attendee. Take the Excel sheet on a laptop to the event and flag each account that attends the event. Import the data post-event to create an attendance record for each account that attended the event. Most pre-event steps can be streamlined with eTapestry DIY forms, custom event forms, or the eCart. Some events are more robust and require other event management systems. Blackbody Tapestry imports and clearly defined import processes are an easy way to get external data into your organization's database. If you are selling tickets for your event, review eTapestry DIY forms and the event ticketing features to see if they are a viable solution for your event. If they aren't, review the eCart functionality if it's available in your eTapestry package. If those two options aren't robust enough, you may want to consider a custom event form. Contact us for more information on custom event forms. 
If you are capturing transactions in an external event management software, use imports or an automated integration to bring that data into eTapestry using an address, phone number, or email address as the import duplicate check. If you collect transactions external to eTapestry during the event, consider pairing each account in your external system with an eTapestry account number so you can use the account number with a single gift import template or an automated integration. The eTapestry account number is a perfect duplicate check and streamlines the import process significantly. Contact Sidekick Solutions to learn more about how we can help you save time by setting up an automated integration between your external event management software and eTapestry. The principles of eTapestry event management are the same for most organizations, but the details vary. Develop a solid eTapestry event tracking system by thinking about the workflow of steps and the reports you hope to run both pre-event, in-event, and post-event. Keeping a focus on workflow steps and reports will help you design a functional event data tracking system in Blackbody Tapestry. At Sidekick Solutions, we are consultants that specialize in eTapestry. Spend your time focusing on what matters to you while we handle your database and help you get the most from it. Do you have questions about eTapestry? Explore more best practices on our website at sidekicksolutionsllc.com forward slash eTapestry or contact us today at info at sidekicksolutionsllc.com.